I saw, I saw your tweet last night, you in the picture, you and Mackenzie. I know, I guess just, especially in the months since spring, and just how much more have your relationship grown? What is your relationship like? Oh, it's great. It's great. I looked up to him a lot. Uh, he's been through a lot, and I just, I mean, I looked up to him since high school, so just having him here on my team and just learning from him every day is a blessing for sure. And being able to compete with him and work with him at the same time is a blessing for sure. How much has he coming in helped elevate the floor of that room and push you and make that room as a whole better while you've also taken the reins and become a much better player and you know try to improve yourself? Uh, he elevated it uh, very high. Uh, level of the standard is very high now. He holds us to a standard himself and it's a blessing to have him and he keeps Chubba, Tate, Gino. We're always just going every single day 100% now. It's never, there's no off days. We're throwing every day, just trying to get work and just get better. When spring wrap, where did you want to go personally with your game from that point till when August rolls around? I'll just keep improving on all the stuff that I was already working on. Um, little things, little mechanics. Mentally, just trying to become a better leader, outspoken. I speak a little bit more now, so. Just trying to get better at that type of stuff. That's the most important stuff. Is that still uncomfortable for you? Oh, most, most definitely, bro. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Most definitely. Yes, sir. There could be a scenario where you guys could be using multiple quarterbacks. You could start. McKenzie could start. You could be on the field at the same time. How, how do you kind of see the possibilities of, of how you guys could complement each other and help this offense? Uh, I think we will both contribute to this team for sure. So. I look forward to how the season's going. I have no idea how it's going to go. We still have fall camp to go through, but it's a blessing that we're both going to be able to possibly be on the field at the same time and just work together and get some Ws. You talked about getting to kind of be his friend and also get to compete against him. I guess how do you kind of balance that? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't, right now we're in summer ball, so I try not to think about really competition-wise. Just trying to focus on yourself. You're, just, you're your biggest competition every day. So. Just trying to get better by myself, and then when fall camp comes around, we're going to work and just push each other to get better. And I don't care if he's behind the center or I'm behind the center. I'm just trying to win games. That's it. How has the offseason been going, and where do you feel like you've grown the most since spring? Uh, once again, just being a vocal leader. I'm trying to step out of that comfort zone, just push, push. Mackenzie's did a great job. And, like We get up on the board. Uh, we had an offensive meeting, so he made me get up and clicker and click through the plays and just try to teach everyone to play or do little things like that. You guys have so many newcomers, freshmen, even second year freshmen, transfers. How does a team go about kind of getting a feel for one another, gelling, getting it all figured out before you have to kick off that first Sunday in September? I think the work that we go through through spring is so tough that it gives you no other choice but to bond and gel together and just get better. So I think the work and we do things outside of football, like little bonding things. So I think it's we're bonding together pretty well, for sure. So, like a guy like Andrew Parchman, obviously, mm -hmm. came in a bit later after spring. How do you, is it player run practices where you start building that bond, that rhythm, that feeling for one another on the field? For sure, most definitely. That's what we do. We do PRPs a lot. So that's, we got him as soon as we got him here. We we're pretty sure first or second day we're out on the field just working. You talked about how McKenzie's kind of forcing you to be a more of a leader, I guess. Having two guys here who are new to the team this year, that's kind of entering their first year, I guess, what's that speak to about how quickly they've established themselves within the team, both Jermaine and Mackenzie? Oh, they did a great job. They came in, pushed the guys, and have reached the standard and have stayed at the standard and have not dipped below it. They come today with the, they come every day with the same attitude, same mindset. So they've shown everyone that they deserve to be here, and those are. When you guys kick off, how much heavier do you expect to be compared to a year ago when you played Georgia Tech? Um, probably seven to ten pounds. Does, Still working on gaining gain a little bit more weight. So, does it make a big difference for you? Maybe durability, or at least the feeling that you can take a hit when you're running it, being effective in that part uh, of your game. Uh, I would say, in certain aspects, I feel like some of the hits last year are just unfortunate and unlucky, where I was injured. So. But yeah, weight obviously helps a lot. So, is there? How different does your system, the playbook and the offense, feel to you compared to the team system? What do you think's made some improvements in, in terms of strength and condition? I mean, this is an off season far different from last year where you guys couldn't work out together. But some teammates you've seen kind of make improvements and strides toward the season. Um, I worked out with Pokey and who else did I work out with? I mean, I've seen Keyshawn, Pokey, Devontae's working hard. With he's just getting better every single day. Um, Josh Burrell squatting 600 pounds every day is pretty crazy to look across and see him. But all the guys have been doing a great job. We've been going in 100% every single day, so that's all we can ask for.
Coach Norbell spoke about last year and trials tribulations of a weird year and a difficult year, but that it made you guys better as a group and you learned a lot about each other. Just where do you kind of sit on that storyline and the idea that, you know, everything you guys went through last year are going to make you a better group this coming season? For sure. We just got to keep climbing. That's the main thing. I just try to um, focus on the climb, each little aspect, because those are the most important parts of a team. And I feel like all the guys are buying into that for sure. And they're just every single day that like, that's the first thing that, when you wake up i mean you're thinking about like commitment little things intensity mental toughness and the brotherhood like that's the most important part is the brotherhood that's what brings everything together so i feel like we're almost there jordan wilson obviously was only with you guys for a week or two last year before the injury how big of a piece is he to what he brings to that as almost a six offensive lineman who's also a capable receiver big jumbo athlete uh, Mackenzie and I were talking last night about that. Uh, he's going to be a great player for our team. Big dude, fast, makes plays. So he's going to be a blessing for our team for sure. Uh, you haven't seen him in, a, I guess, a practice setting yet. Andrew Parchman, I guess, and working with him this summer, what have you seen from him? What's he going to bring? Uh, he's great. He's fast, makes plays. Um, he's a great player. I like that he has a positive mindset. It's never his head down when he doesn't get the ball. It's always heads up. He's always coming by. Just letting us know that he's there, and it's awesome to have him. When Coach Norville and Coach Dillingham are talking to you guys about the offense and the strides it needs to make, what's kind of the points they keep hammering on? Um, Just being focused at all times. Just lock me into your assignment. Do your assignment first. And if everyone does their assignment, we have 11 guys doing their job, we're going to be successful. So that's what he's focusing on. Just everyone do their assignment and get the job done. How much easier is it to kind of get excited for the season and, and work so hard during the summer when you have an opener like Notre Dame? Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, this is probably the most excited I've been to go into a football season probably ever in my life. So I'm looking forward to it for sure.